Hello there, my name is Mac Horse, and welcome to Blockbuster Tutorial Series. This is episode number 1, and in this video I'll show you the basics of Director Block. So let's get started. Go to Creative Inventory, find Blockbuster's Creative Panel, and open it. There would be a dozen of items, but ignore most of them for now. Right now, we only need a Director Block and a Playback button. Place a Director Block anywhere you want and then right click it. This is where you edit actors for a single scene. In order to add an actor you must add a replay by pressing plus button on the right. Now that we have a replay and director block, we can edit actors properties. The most important property you must edit is the recording ID. Recording ID is basically a unique address which will be used for player recording. It's kind of like a file name. Recording IDs are global, so you can use them in any director block and it will play back the same action. You can use any characters for its name for exception of spaces. If you aren't sure what to put in, just put some gibberish and make sure this gibberish wasn't used by another actor or director block in your world. Once a replay has a recording ID, also pick a morph. Morphs are basically outfits for actors which allows actors to look in a certain way. Don't worry about it too much right now, we'll explore that in future videos, and just pick Alex in Blockbuster's models. Now, we're ready to record. Click the record button and a message will appear in the chat. Close the director block menu, and open chat. You can click here, to start recording. When recording starts after a countdown, just act. Once you've finished acting, click here in the chat again to stop recording. Now, I'll show you some magic. If you will add another actor to director block, and start recording, actors which were already recorded, will play back as well so you can react this way to your pre-recorded actors. Let's just add another actor, to reinforce the information about player recording. Now once you're done, grab the playback button, and right click it on director block. A GUI might pop up, if you have aperture mod installed, don't mind it for now, just close it. This is the way to attach a playback item to a director block. Now once you right click attached playback button, it will start playing the scene. Now that we learned how to play back and record, let me show you more director block and actor properties. Most of them are self-explanatory, and some of them deserve their own separate videos. Name tag field gives a name tag on top of actor's head. Invisible hides the actor completely, invincible makes actor immune to almost all kind of damage, and health changes how much health an actor has. If you'll play back the scene with some of these properties changed, you won't see Steve, but you would see his footsteps. Alex would have a name tag, and won't take any damage from Steve's attack, and the dummy could get easily killed by one hit, due to low HP. There is also enable checkbox, which allows you to completely exclude an actor from playback. Beside actor properties, there is also a panel within menu with director block properties, which can be accessed by clicking on a gear icon. Most of these properties are self-explanatory as well. Command fields activate commands on start and stop of director blocks playback. Loops allow to loop playback of director block. Disable states allow to stop changes of director blocks redstone output. That I will show in a second. And hide during playback hides the director block when a director block starts playing. Display title allows to give a director block a title which would be visible from last used director blocks menu. So let's try playing a director block to test these properties, but before that, I will place redstone dust to demonstrate director blocks redstone output. As you can see, the start command got triggered, and redstone on the play side of director block got activated. When I stop the playback of director block, the stop command gets triggered and redstone changes again. Disable states property will disable these redstone changes. Well, that's pretty much it about director blocks. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.